Hi, Brent Rollins here again with Spraylock Concrete Protection. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about a topic that many of you may not have considered, and that's aggregate moisture. If you think about it, at a concrete plant, they have huge piles of rock and sand. Sometimes, many times, many different sizes of rock and many different types of sand. Those products come into the plant on dump trucks. It's a lot different than buying a bag of dry play sand at your local hardware store. That's dry sand. You can mix that with water and dry cement and you can accurately predict what the water content is going to be. Well, what happens if we're bringing in sand that has just recently been processed and it's wet? How do we account for that water that's coming in with the sand into the big concrete trucks? Well, the answer is pretty easy. But at the same time, it's often overlooked. And that is that we test, we test for moisture. And the way we do that is we take samples of the sand that we're gonna use for mixing concrete. Typically, when I was in the concrete business, I would have my guys do that at the very beginning of the day. So they would know just how much free water was on the surface of the concrete sand. Now, I probably just threw you when I said free water. What I mean by that is you have a sand particle it's capable of absorbing a certain amount of water. That absorbed water is not free to interact with the cement in any way. It's just stuck in the, in the aggregate particle or the, fine, the, the sand particle. And then you have water that's trapped in between the particles or on the surface. That water is free to react with the cement and does add to the batch water. So we, know, we have to know our absorption rate. We take a sample, we burn it off with a hot plate in Europe, I, those guys did it with the microwave oven. Um, whatever the standards are that you have to use, DOT or otherwise, then use those standards to burn off a sand test. And a rock test can be done in the same way, or a coarse aggregate test, to determine the total moisture content. Once you have that total moisture content, then you take away your absorption, and that gives you a free moisture content that can then be taken away from your batch water and then here's the step that some people miss. You have to add back additional sand or rock to make up for the weight that you're weighing in your bin. You think it's, you think it's sand, but it's actually water. So you have to put that much more sand back into, in uh, most DOTs and most uh, uh, concrete facilities require just one adjustment. Some require two. But if you want to learn more, you can check out ACI and PCA uh, information and or you can give us a call here at Spraylock. Call our technical department and talk to Josh Carroll. He'll be happy to explain just how you do that. Thank you so much for your kind attention today and I'm wishing you the best concrete projects you can possibly have.